Titanic. A Baltimore <laughs> County restaurant is serving up history on a plate with a menu inspired by the infamous ship. WMER 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington explains what this is all about. All right, Titanic enthusiasts, you've got the movie, you've got the music, well, now you've got the meal. A restaurant in Towson is serving up the same food that the first class passengers ate on their last night aboard the ship. And the food lasts the test of time. Of the many artifacts that survived the sinking of the Titanic, not many can be brought to life 112 years later. Many, many folks on the Titanic folded that menu in their sport coat, had no idea they'd have to be on the lifeboat, and, and that's why we have so many menus. Escoffier was the renowned chef in the late 19th century. White Star Lines, which Titanic was one of the ships on the White Star Line, they used his menu. So the, the recipes are out there. Steve Fox, the owner of Bread and Circus's Bistro, figured there's no use letting those recipes and menus just sit in a museum. Why look when you can eat and experience a taste of the past? The thing about Titanic, there, there wasn't a rock wall, there wasn't a miniature golf, the food was the entertainment. And to be entertaining, it had to be elaborate, of course. Originally, the menu was done in a 12-course fashion. Um, you, you get on the boat, sh glass of champagne, instantly caviar, um, shrimp with caviar, oysters. Fox learned most of this from his nine-year-old son, a big Titanic history buff. He's been my teacher along the way yeah. because he's just finesse, f fascinated by the whole thing. But, but then I started learning and listening and, and hearing the stories. He started serving the menu on Valentine's Day, and it was such a success he decided to keep it going. But 12 courses would be a pretty big undertaking, so his take on the menu is six, with an option of doing just four courses or ordering a la carte. I can't imagine 12 courses. Uh, Jim Brennan stopped in for lunch and ordered the roast duck. He says it's cool to see the similarities between how people dined in 1912 and today. Fancy people were fancy all the time. You know? <laughs> exactly. Even back then, if you if you had the money for it, of course, you know, you're going to you're going to eat good. And in April, Bread and Circuses will host a big dinner party in honor of the anniversary of the fateful night the ship sank. In Baltimore County, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.